Welcome back and thank you so much for taking time to watch another video. My name is Sushant and I am your instructor for this Microsoft 365 Fundamentals exam series. So we have completed the first module. Within that module, we have gone through three different lessons to understand the overall cloud concepts. In this video, I'm going to test your knowledge based on what we have learned on last three videos. So the lessons we have gone through are the principles of cloud computing. That's where we learned about what are the types of cloud computing available? What is public cloud, private cloud, and hybrid cloud? And what are the three different types of cloud models available? What is infrastructure as a service or IaaS? We learned about what is platform as a service or PaaS. And finally, we talked about software as a service or SaaS which is a primary example of Microsoft 365 or Office 365 suite. Then we touch based on Microsoft Cloud Services. We've gone through a few modules talking about what is Microsoft Azure, and we understood few of the Microsoft 365 Cloud Services as well. And finally, just before this module, we, we finished the lesson third, which is migrating to Cloud Services. We talked about the various tools and services you can use and why is cloud only model is sometimes different compared to a hybrid model. What is coexistence all about? Things like that. These topics are very important and you need to understand these concepts in detail to answer these questions. So let's review these great questions. All right. The first question is, all right. So the first question is, your company is running Microsoft Exchange Server 2007 and your employees use Office 2007. You need to upgrade your systems, but you want to minimize your CapEx impact. Which of the following is the best solution? So the key point we need to consider over here is you need to minimize your expenditure. So by purchasing Exchange Server, you are going to pay upfront. So that is, we are eliminating this option. So I don't think that's an answer. The second again is the purchase Exchange Server. That again require you need to have a CapEx investment. So the only option over here is subscribe to Microsoft 365, which is not a CapEx model, which is an operational expenditure model. So the right answer is C. Let's look at question number two. You want a cloud subscription model that is the least expensive way to access services that are strictly hosted by a cloud service provider. So the keyword is strictly hosted by a cloud service provider. So which cloud model describes this? Is it public cloud? Absolutely. So public cloud is the one which offers a cloud hosted model, which is strictly hosted by a cloud service provider. What are the other options? Private cloud, which is not right because again, this is managed by you or other third party. Hybrid cloud, again, requires some part of a public cloud, but again, it requires you to maintain some on-prem as well. So that is not an answer. Cumberlumbus cloud. I, I don't even know I'm pronouncing this right. I don't even know what this word means. So I, I'm going to choose no. So the right answer over here is public cloud. All right. So let's look at question number three. Which of the following best describes the benefits of cloud computing? So we are going to look at the benefit of cloud computing. That's the key word here. So for that, we have to basically read out each statement and eliminate uh, based on which one doesn't sound right or which one doesn't fit well with the benefit of cloud. Right. So the first statement is cloud computing is cost effective, elastic and on-prem. Oh. So the cost effective is right, elastic is right, but the last statement is wrong. So I'm eliminating this answer. This is not right. The second statement is a cloud computing is scalable, inelastic, but always current. Again, scalable is correct. Always current is correct. 
inelastic is wrong. So that way I'm eliminating this answer as well. This is not correct. Cloud is elastic. So the third statement is cloud computing is scalable, elastic and reliable. So it ticks all three boxes. So it is cloud computing is scalable. You can scale up and down, which is elastic and cloud computing is reliable because the cloud service provider would take care of the high availability and disaster recovery and things like that for you. So this is going to be the most likely answer. Let's look at the last option as well. Cloud computing is cost effective, but unreliable. So cost effective is right, but unreliable is wrong. So this is wrong choice. So the right answer is option C, which is cloud computing is scalable, elastic and reliable. Let's look at question number four. You want to leverage the cloud to host virtual machines, which is VMs. Which type of cloud service is this? All right, so the key word over here is virtual machine. So if you want to host VMs, we know that we talked about it in the second module, which gives you uh, infrastructure as a service. This is where you get to control the uh, which operating system you can install and uh, you get to choose uh, which application you can install on top of your OS, etc. So the right answer, even before I'm going through the option, is the first one, which is IaaS or infrastructure as a service. Uh, definitely not PaaS because PaaS you cannot install a VM and in SaaS also you will not get a VM. So the right answer is A. Let's look at question number five. So here, so in question number five, which type of cloud service provide an environment for buying, building, testing and deploying and running software applications. So the key over here is building, testing, deploying and running software. Never it mentioned about maintaining a server, patching an operating system, getting a control to your operating system, etc. So this is definitely a platform as a service. So the right answer is platform. Infrastructure is not because it doesn't need uh, this customer doesn't need a server to manage and maintain. Software as a service doesn't offer building, testing, deployment, and running software application. So the right option or the answer available is platform as a service. Question number six. Which of the following regulations apply to cloud computing? All right, so the key word over here is regulations. And in exams, you need to watch out for these statements. Like sometimes you would have to select multiple answers to complete the whole scenario. So make sure you read out the whole question and select all the appropriate answer. Uh, the options are uh, Endangered Species Act. I don't think this is anything to do with cloud. So I'm eliminating this. This is some Animal Protection Act. B, HIPAA. Yes, definitely HIPAA is a regulation for cloud computing. Sarbanes Oxley Act. Yes, that is part of a cloud regulation. Graham Leach Bailey Act, GLBA is again a part of a cloud computing regulation. Cloud, cloud Compliance Act, uh, I never heard of it. I don't think that's a, even a regulation for cloud computing. So the right options are B, C, and D. Question number seven, which of the following are components that are included with Microsoft 365? Again, uh, we are trying to find the components which is included with Microsoft 365. Again, we need to find three answers. So we know that what are the components involved in Microsoft 365, right? It, Microsoft 365 comes with Office 365 suite, uh, depend on what licensing SKU you purchase. If it is enterprise, it comes with Office 365 Enterprise, Windows 10 Enterprise, and Enterprise Mobility Plus Security. So I'm gonna choose, yep, the first one, it comes with Office 365 Enterprise. 
Um, it doesn't come with Office 2016. It doesn't come with Office 10 Pro. Yes, it comes with Windows 10 Enterprise. And yes, it comes with Enterprise Mobility Suite. So the answers are A, D, and E. All right. So you have successfully completed the module one and you have gone through the question answer as well. Congratulations for taking time and initiative to complete the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals Module 1. On the next video, I'm going to kick off the Module 2, which is all about Microsoft 365 Core Services. So I'll see you on the next one. Till then, peace.